Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is currently 11.47 p.m. on this hot and beautiful Sunday evening going into Monday. It's currently 77 degrees outside. And I just woke up about a half an hour ago. Took a little nap tonight while Alex was watching um, American Horror Stories, which I actually haven't even started yet. So I think I'm gonna watch them maybe when we go to Las Vegas. I don't know yet when I'm gonna watch them. Maybe this week I'll watch them. I've been like watching all of these drag pageants. I finished another one today. I finished it. Did I start it yesterday? I feel like I started it yesterday. And uh, then I downloaded another one today. Well, this is why. So all of the ones that I'm watching are National Entertainer of the Year, which takes place in Louisville. And um, the last one that I watched was 2010, which was the year that, why can't I think of who won? Vanessa De Mornay won. She's from Louisville, Kentucky. And um, when I was like watching it, I couldn't even believe it. It was like, so in the top 10 were Chad Michaels, who's RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star, Shangela, um, Eric Norrell, who's a Miss Continental, and I love her, and D'Angelo Show Shannon, who's like big, big in the pageant scene, who I love all her stuff. There was somebody else, too. Oh, Victoria Porkchop Parker, who was like the very first person that was ever kicked off of RuPaul's Drag Race. And she used to work at The Connection in Louisville, too. And um, I knew her talent would be good because I've seen her talent for National Entertainer of the Year before. One year when I watched it, she did, like, this whole choir presentation. Like, she had, like, a gospel choir with her. And she did, like, a Celine Dion song. And then it went into, like, this gospel song. And then it ended, like, on a Celine Dion song. It was really cool. Um, for this one, she did... The Beat Goes On by Hairspray, but it had like a lot of talking pieces to it too. Chad Michaels did Cher. Shangela did this thing from Twilight. She kind of put this movie clip thing together, which was kind of funny. And she was supposed to be uh, the main girl um, from Twilight. I can't think of her name. I don't know why I can't think of her name, but anyway. And then, um, So it was like her like fighting with people. Alyssa Edwards was actually in her talent. And uh, so anyway, then I went in because Shangela, Chad Michaels, <clears throat> and this other person were all in California EOI. And so that was what I downloaded today. And I haven't even gotten into the talent or anything. It's like the first year was 2010 that they did a California Entertainer of the Year because that's like a prelim pageant for it. And it was interesting because like when you go to these national drag pageants, like they have good judges, but they'll typically have a judge that's like maybe like a former like, you know, Entertainer of the Year winner or somebody that's won a national title. And then they'll have you know, people that would each know, like, different... Maybe somebody that knows something about music, somebody that knows something about dance, whatever, right? But even on a national level, like, the judges are not, like, that well-known. Um, but, like, anytime you look at a judge panel, you want to try to, like, cover the bases for, like... Like, if it was in this competition, you would do, like... Because there's talent. You would do, like, dance. Like, this is not just for drag pageants. This is for, like, any other kind of pageants, too. Like, Miss USA, Miss America, Glitz pageants, things like that. You want to have judges that have backgrounds, like a diverse background in those areas so that they can judge appropriately, you know, and know what's going on. So, um, 
California, their judges were Holly Madison and another girl from the Girls Next Door, that Playboy show, that reality show. And it was when Holly Madison was doing Peep Show in Las Vegas. Aubrey O'Day, the singer, Alyssa Edwards from RuPaul's Drag Race, Nina West, who was a former Entertainer of the Year. This was before she had gotten on RuPaul's Drag Race. I think this might have been before all of them were on RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, and then, who else were the other? Oh, a guy that was a producer, was a producer on RuPaul's Drag Race and Big Brother. <laughs> They were like big deal judges. I was like, this is such a big deal. Uh, Calpurnia Adams, who like her story they made into a movie. Um, just anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys know who Calpurnia Adams is, but um, she dated like a guy that was in the military. I think she was in the military too. She's trans. And these people killed her boyfriend. Um, anyway. And Alec Mappa, was that his name? Alec Mappa, he hosted it. It was like a big deal. And they did it like as a fundraiser too, which I thought was like great. And I thought it was really interesting. So I just started that. Um, but I'm having fun watching all of those. But that's kind of putting my television shows on the back burner for right now. Last night after I got done vlogging, I listened to that entire book. Um, I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. It was really good, you guys. It was really scary. There was actually a part where I was listening to it. It takes place, like, a lot. It's, like, mostly out in the country. I would say, like, 90% of it is out in the country. And there was a part where I was, like, driving kind of, like, out in the country. And, um... I just got, like, really, really kind of scared, like, listening to it. And that very rarely happens to me with books. Like, it... Anyway, I will say this... The ending is kind of like, it's not the same, but kind of similar minded as that book. Um, Central Park by that Guillaume Musso, who I read for Peter's Book Club. And I do not, um, I don't dislike those kind of endings, but it's like at the end of the book, you find out that like what you thought all along is completely different than what it was. I feel like it's kind of like a cheat on the reader. And, Unless it's done, like, really, really well, I don't enjoy it. And I felt like the whole book was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the ending was like, eh. <clears throat> and I ended up giving it, I wasn't going to give it five stars. I ended up giving it four stars because of that. It's super fast-paced, and it uh, reads very fast. But then the end, and I know that it's like... I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, you couldn't have maybe figured out the ending of it, like, by reading it. And that's, like, one of the things that I don't like in reading books. So, um, that kind of play a trick like that. And then today, so I stayed up super late finishing that last night. I stayed up to, like, 6 in the morning. Maybe 6.15. And then I got up today and we went to brunch. And I had, I kind of waited till the very last moment when I got there to decide what I wanted. Um, I got the gluten-free waffle. I wasn't, like, super hungry. Oh, because I ate a little bit of my leftover Chinese when I got home last night from reading that book. I think I had a little bit of Chinese and then watched a little bit of the drag pageant for, like, ten minutes. So, anyway, like, when I got home last night, yeah. I did a review of those sriracha peas this week that are by that uh, Happy brand, H-A-P-I. I don't know how to pronounce it. Happy, Happy. Um, that makes the wasabi peas. Can I just tell you, I am obsessed with those sriracha peas. Like, I used to love the wasabi peas. I have an entire container, a can of them at home. Like, the, those sriracha peas are so good, you guys. I am, like, obsessed with them. Um, I took allergy medicine earlier today because my nose when I woke up was just like runny like this. 
I'm hoping that allergies aren't gonna hit like really early this year because I just cannot handle it. But I'm kind of thinking that's what I'm dealing with already. This feels like allergies. My eyes are a little itchy and um, so yeah. And then I got, so we went, I got a gluten, gluten-free waffle with butter and syrup. And then, um, I got a cup of coffee. I didn't even get orange juice today. I knew there was something I wanted. Uh, I didn't even finish my waffle. I didn't get crispy potatoes. I got a cup of fruit that came with it and the fruit was really good. It was like pineapple and strawberries and blueberries. So I ate a little bit of that. Alex had a cup of the tomato artichoke soup. Look at the line at McDonald's, my God. There's literally, you guys, I'm not even exaggerating, like 25 cars in line. Maybe more than that at McDonald's. There must have been concerts tonight out at Deer Creek. Well, we call it Deer Creek now. It's called something else now. But anyway, um, Alex got the cup of tomato artichoke soup with croutons got a cup of coffee, and then he got the Cuban breakfast. And we sat there until it closed, and then afterwards, oh, well, I talked to Mel yesterday too. But then afterwards, I took him home, and then I talked to Mel for just a little bit on the phone, and then I came home, and I lit a bunch of candles, and got everything ready, and had a true crime book club from like four to 5.30. And then, um, yeah. And then I got off of there and I was like trying to decide if I wanted to film some videos or not. By the time like I got everything settled and whatever, I had a couple cameos to do too. It was like 6.15 and I was like, okay, it's kind of late now. It won't be like till 8 or 8.30 when I get my video. Oh, I hadn't even started like processing my vlog from yesterday or anything because I didn't do it before we went to brunch. So I started that and then it was like 6.30 and I was trying to get a hold of Tanya. And so I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to push it today with trying to um, get all of this done. But anyway, um, so I just decided that I wasn't going to make videos today. And then I was talking to my neighbor across the street about her. She's now found a new way that she's going to get her patio, she told me. <laughs> and, um, I guess one of their concerns is the windows. She told me, uh, well, I was out there and I was doing cameos in the front porch and she and then the neighbor that lives next door, they were like laughing because they could hear me like flipping my fan and stuff like that. And um, I was trying to explain to them what I was doing a little bit. They didn't really get it. So anyway, she didn't really care. She was like, oh, I got news on my, um, screen in my patio that I'm getting. She always says it like that, like my patio that I'm getting. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So what's the new news? And she's like, well, I have a friend of mine. Somebody just texted me, hold on a second. She's like, I have a friend of mine that is a judge. Something to do with she's a judge or she was an attorney. I don't know, but she's friends with all these attorneys. And so she reached out to an attorney friend of hers. And the attorney friend of hers, because one of their major concerns is the heaviness of the patio. I don't even know, because flood zones or something like that, because we're in a flood zone. And so <laughs> she said something about, I don't know, but anyway, she found some way, like some loophole in this whole thing that she's going to do. And I'm like, here's the deal, okay? It's four to four, people have voted on it. And there's like a fifth, there's like another person that hasn't voted because he doesn't, there's, I guess there's nine people on the board because he doesn't keep, he doesn't come to the board meetings, right? So they're having a board meeting on Wednesday and they're gonna take a final vote on it. And he's gonna be there for this one. And she's like, I'm a little worried about what he's gonna say. And she's like, well, and she's telling me who he is and stuff like that. I don't know who this person is. I don't know his name. I mean, I only know first names in the neighborhood and I don't know the men as well as I know the women unless they live right by me. And so she's like, I just am worried about what he's gonna say and blah, 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 whatever, you know, and, um, 
someone so told me that I should forward him this, what my friend said. And I said, have you ever thought about just going over and like taking in some cookies or a loaf of bread, like going and getting some cookies or making some cookies and taking them over to his house and say, hey, I'm so-and-so and I just wanted to introduce myself to you so you could put a face with a name and, um, you know, I wanted you to know who I was and, and uh, you know, I know you're voting on this situation tomorrow and, you know, this really means a lot to me and, you know, I said just be honest with them and just put, let him put a face to a name and say, hey, I'm really not trying to cause a lot of problems in the neighborhood, but like I've really looked into this. It's not gonna cause anybody any extra money. I'm gonna be paying for everything. This is really important to me. I was promised this by my realtor when we bought the house. We wouldn't have bought the house if we couldn't have done this. She's like, you know what? I had never thought of that before. She's like, that is such a great idea. I was like, yeah. I said, just go to him. I said, I don't feel like the people in this neighborhood do that enough. It's like they all want to go to like the HOA board or the management company and complain. I said, just go to his front door. Be real neighborly, you know, take him. She goes, I should have been cooking, making, she goes, I should have been baking cookies today. I said, just go buy him some. I said, just buy him some, you know, some nice loaf of bread or something tomorrow. She said, you know, I do think that I'm going to do that. And I said, okay. She's like, but uh, tomorrow... Um, who is texting? Now somebody else is texting me. She's like, but tomorrow, um, she's like, I can't do it because I have to this, this, and this. And then she's like, and then like the next day I have this, this, and this. And I said, I thought the voting was on Wednesday. She was like, it is. I hope I can. And I thought, you want this patio so bad you can't find five minutes to go and introduce yourself to this man. And you know what I mean? Like, come on. So I said, well, I hope you get Charles season through him. She goes, shh, we can't call it that anymore. Screen and patio. Screen and porch now. <laughs> Hold on, who is texting me? I think it's Mel. It is Mel. She texted me a picture of Arizona. Isn't that so pretty? You can't see it, but anyway, it's so pretty. So that was my afternoon of talking to her. And then Alex took a nap for a while. And then he was watching shows and stuff like that. And he was talking to his friend and um, they're playing in there. Um, what do you call it? They're playing in their music festival in Chicago, Labor Day weekend, which will be a bachelor weekend for me. Which is totally fine because that'll be like the last weekend that I can use the pool and stuff. And I'm just going to go to the pool like every day that weekend. <laughs> Although I don't think he's going up there until Saturday. So hopefully it'll be nice. Tomorrow, I was going to go to bed early tonight so I could go to the pool tomorrow and stuff. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 65% chance of rain in the morning and mid-afternoon. And then tomorrow night, I'm so excited. Um, we are, so tonight I'm going and I'm meeting my good Judy Valerie at the casino for just a little bit. Um, because I was gonna get up early tomorrow, but now I can't because it's gonna rain. Well, I could, but it's gonna rain all day tomorrow. So, um, what was I gonna say? And I'm back on track for my audio books. I'm at 63 books for the year. So, I just have to read two books a week. I bought two more books yesterday. I bought A Time to Kill and... Because I want to go in. There's a new John Grisham book out, Something Mercy. Time for Mercy, maybe. And it's the third book in this John So-and-So series. Did I talk about this last night? I feel like I talked about this last night on here. Which is part of this... I don't think I read A Time to Kill. I think I just watched the movie years ago. I, I talked about this last night on here. But anyway, um, I feel like I bought another audiobook. I did a little shopping today, too. Yeah. I, uh, I bought two pairs of sunglasses from Key because the sunglasses that I have... I don't know if you can see, but like they're kind of hard to see through. Do you see how dirty they are? Well, on these sunglasses, like once they get that on there, like they kind of like, it's, you really can't clean these off. Like, okay, these are like 
other than like where you just clean cl clean the glasses off you know with like a little thing these are like I don't really know how to explain it but they're like really like permanent stains on there and so it's really hard to see through them I wear them but it's they're just dirty and you can't I mean and you can't clean it off I don't know how to explain it and there's scratches and stuff on there I've had these for a long time so I was like okay I need to buy I don't know the last time that I bought a, a new pair of sunglasses. Maybe last summer, last spring, something like that. No, it's been longer than that. Last winter, last summer. So anyway, I got on key and I bought two pairs of sunglasses. And I found another pair of sunglasses that I like that are like 70 bucks. I might buy those too, but we'll just see. Um, you know, I like the big aviator kinds. They're called, if you go to key, which is Q-U-A-Y, I bought the high key ones, K E Y. And they're just like big aviators. I like those. And I bought a pair of like all gold ones. I mean, they're not gold, gold, they're just fake gold. They're on sale right now, actually. And then I bought, I was watching, um, who is it? I watched a Chris and Ian, Alex and I both like them, that couple that does like the TikTok and now they do YouTube videos and stuff. And Chris was using this shampoo that, is it Oribe or Oribe? Or I think it's Oribe shampoo. Jacqueline Hill swears by it too, it's super expensive. And he has a shampoo, or they have a shampoo that's like called like Silverado or something like that, that I've been kind of eyeing for a while. It's supposed to really bring like the whiteness and the silver out in your hair. So I was like, it's a big container. I was like, I'm gonna buy it. And then I had also seen Ian, his boyfriend, using that Malin and Getz, which is like uh, shampoo, conditioner, body gel, soap and stuff that you always see like in the hotels. I've seen it at a lot of ho like artsy hotels that we've gone through. And he was either talking about it or he took a picture of like his shower, like everything he had in his shower. I am so, like, it's so easy. I'm the easiest influenced person in the world to buy stuff. So I got online to look at it because I remember there's one, it's the rum flavored one, the rum smelling. It's like it's supposed to be like, um, you know, the flavor that the pirates used back in the day and all that kind of stuff. But anyway. Um, it's like soap and shower gel and stuff, and I loved that one. And so I bought the shower gel and I bought the lotion. And then there was something else that I bought. Oh, I bought shoes too. I bought two pairs of shoes from ASOS because I need to have a pair of black shoes for Las Vegas and, um, and just in general. But like all of the shoes that I have, you guys, these shoes that I wore to go to see uh, Dead Mouse, I think it was a Dead Mouse. I like, I still have blisters on my foot, on one foot from it, okay? I get, because I never wear shoes, I always wear these Birkenstock sandals. The only shoe shoes that I've worn the last couple years that I don't get blisters from are when they're suede. And it's this one suede pair that I have from ASOS that has like tassels on it, but they're brown, they're real cute, but they're really like a fall shoe because they're like, it's like this greenish brown. So I was like, okay, I can, I'm not going to Vegas and getting blisters again, which I probably will anyway, but I was like, let's try something different this time. Band-Aids don't work, none of that stuff works to put inside my shoe, none of it works to put inside my shoe. So it's like, let's try something different. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy these shoes. So I bought two pairs of shoes at ASOS. They were on sale for like $37, $38, both of them. And they're both like, well, no, 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 no. One is like a lace-up brogue and um, like, you know, like lace-up like Oxford shoe. I thought maybe a, a lace-up would do better because it would be tighter on my foot. I don't know. And then the other one is a loafer that has like, it's just like a loafer loafer, but it's suede. And then I was like Googling these shoes and I found these shoes at Nordstrom Rack that were suede loafers. They're real cute. And they had kind of like a heavy sole on them, which is like I wanted something a little bit different. And they were like 120 something. 
and I had a gift card at Nordstrom Rack that uh, Carlos and Liliana had given me for my birthday. So I bought those. Yeah, did a little shopping today, and that was that. I swear that said the Indianapolis State Fair was closed Mondays and Tuesdays. That can't be right. I mean, I'm not going to probably go this year anyway, but... Um, I think this today probably finished the first full week. There's probably another week and then it closes. Nikki in the book club tonight was talking about how her kids go back to school a week from Wednesday. I'm like, that is really late this year for kids to go back to school. I think she said she was in Pennsylvania somewhere. So anyway, yeah, it was a really good day. It's been a really just relaxing day. And then I'm going to run up and meet Valerie for a little bit. Not for very long. I just kind of like going in and getting a fountain pop and <laughs> playing the penny slots for, you know, 45 minutes or an hour or whatever. And then with leaving and listening to my audiobook and... This one night I was talking to these ladies. I may have shared the story on here. So there are these slots that I play that are like these penny slots, right? When you walk in, you can play them forever, it seems like. I should say that and watch, I won't be able to, but um I mean a lot of the penny slots you can play for a long time. A lot of them you can't, but I was talking to these two women, they always like I've seen them come up there, you know, together. And so before they've sat next to me because we both like the same machines. And so I was talking to this one woman, and I was like, "Like, are you like, are you guys sisters? Are you good friends or whatever?" And she's like, "No, we're like best friends. We grew up together." And I was like, "Really?" And she was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "I retired last year." And my son knew that I, like, wanted to travel and wanted to go see a lot of my friends and stuff. And she's the last friend that I visited. And I said, oh, really? And she, and he was like, yeah. Or she was like, yeah. And um, so, like, you know, my son's taking care of my house and stuff. And I was like, well, where are you from? And she's like, well, I'm from Indiana. Or I'm from Indiana. But, like, I live in Texas now. And I was like, oh, Okay. And she's like, I've lived there for like the last 15 years or 20 years or something like that. And uh, so I said to her, I go, well, when are you going back to Texas? And she's like, well, I've already been here for like two or three months, something like that. And I said, you've already been like visiting your friend for two or three months? And she was like, yeah. And I said, well, when are you going back? And she said, when well, my friend's ready to come with me. And her friend had gone to go get a pop. And so I said, when her friend sat down, I said, oh, so you're moving to Texas. And she said, yeah, I just don't know when yet. And she's like, yeah, she's got to quit her job. She's like, you know, going to retire. And then she's going to move with me. And I said, really? And she's like, yeah. She was like, you know, we're both single now. We both raise our kids. And she was like, you know, she's my best friend. And we're not in relationships, just, you know, like the two of us, and I don't have a lot of, like, family left, and neither does she, and so we want to be in, like, the same city together, you know? I thought, I, she was telling me a story, and then she was telling me all these funny stories about when they go home in the morning, like, her, this woman's daughters are still work, like, getting up to go to work, and they work from home, and so, like, they, like, wake them up as they're, like, making coffee and breakfast in the kitchen. Did I tell this story on here? I feel like maybe I told this story on here. But anyway, I was telling Tanya, because I was like, Tanya Jean, you know that's going to be you and me someday. <laughs> I don't know. There was something real sweet about that to me. Now, tomorrow night, I'm going over to um, my good Judy's house, my sober good Judy, and we're having, like, um, well, she's doing food. I'm, 
We're supposed to bring desserts. I don't know what I'm gonna bring yet. I'm thinking about maybe going to Taylor's Bakery and bringing like a key lime pie or something like that. I don't know. What it stopped. I was talking about what dessert I'm gonna bring. I was saying I might bring a key lime pie from Taylor's Bakery or I might just go somewhere and see what they have. But um, we're all supposed to bring dessert, I guess. She's make, she's cooking, and then it's like Tanya and I and our two other friends. It's, it's our Monday night literature group meeting. And so, um, yeah, and that's at 7.30 tomorrow night. So I have to pick up Tanya Jean at 7.15, 7 or 7.15 to head over there. And um, that is gonna be real fun. I'm real excited about that. You know how excited I got the last time? I'm so excited about it. Well, last time we had so much fun. We played games and um, we ate a bunch of food and we sat outside on the patio. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow night though. It just was, we had such a good time. Well, she's got like a metal roof so that like when it rains, you can like hear the pitter patter of the rain. That's why they have this like, cause they just built this patio and they, well, they didn't build it. They had somebody build it, but she had one of these like tin roof, kind of like, you know, tin, not a tin roof, but you know what I'm talking about. But the metal that she had put out there is so that she can like nap and read on the patio. It's a huge patio. And um, so that it's not an all seasons room. <laughs> she can't sit out there in the dead of winter, okay? It's a patio. I mean, it's a screen in porch, but the roof that they had put on it is the kind that, you know, like, when it rains, it, like, makes that, like, really nice noise. So, anyway. She's got it decorated so cute. They went to, like, Ikea. Well, she also does... What do I have here? Oh, my God. I forgot that I had my extra coffee from today because I went to Starbucks after we went to brunch. So, this is my coffee. Snickerdoodle. I mean, it's cold now, but, oh, my God. It still tastes so good. It tastes like eating a Snickerdoodle. I love a good cup of coffee, don't you? So anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, she like is really into like vintage furniture, thrift store shopping, stuff like that. And so she has like the cutest like little furniture out there and pillows and stuff like that. It's just, it's adorable. It's like the patio I wish I had. I'm so glad that we used our back patio the other night when Sarah came over. Because I feel like we really haven't used it at all this summer. And I feel like it would have just made me really sad if we didn't use it at all. You know what I mean? I feel like I put... Maybe I did put two Splenda in there. Maybe it was one Splenda too many in that small cup. I've been filming a lot more videos on my Peter Desktop channel lately. I've really enjoyed that. Oh, I know what else I ordered too. We've been out of it for a while, that poopery stuff, which I totally swear by. I love that stuff. My cousin always has real unique, like, smells. Like, she always has the Christmas ones and stuff. And, um, so I got online and I ordered a ton of it. I'm going to do, like, a poopery haul when it comes and show. Because I got some, like, really, like, I got some different ones I hadn't had before. They actually have, they, they have Christmas ones on there. And they have some that are on sale right now for, like, a percentage off and stuff like that. And, um, so I'm going to do a little haul of that when that comes. And, yeah. Because I love that stuff. I swear by it. A, it really works, and B, it smells good. Like, some of them, I think, kind of smell like really good air freshener. I think they, well, they have, they have hand sanitizers and um, something else. <sighs> These 
fields that just go on and on forever in the dark. Alex just sent me this trailer for the show that's on Hulu, this movie that's called The Resort. I think we're going to watch that one night together this week. We also have to catch up on RuPaul's Drag Race. I can't believe that we're going to be leaving here for Vegas soon. And then he come, we come back and he, it's like he turns around and goes to Chicago for the music festival. It's Gold Coast he's going to, or something like the South Coast, North Coast, something like the North Coast, I think. And then when he comes back that following week, or that same week, we go to Vegas for Jason's birthday, which is going to be like a big deal because there's like, I mean, it's a couple's trip. And Jason and Melissa have it, like, all planned out. Like, on this day we're doing this, and on this day we're doing that, and on this day we're doing that. I'm excited. Melissa and I have something very cool planned for while we're there that I'm really super, super excited about. Oh, man. Melissa and I might do something this Friday, or Friday the 13th, in preparation for our podcast. I'm not sure. We're going to have to see. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe, 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 maybe. We're kind of like talking about it. She was like, should we do something on Friday the 13th? I was like, well... Maybe. But we don't really have a lot of stuff planned for it yet, so. truck drivers see like some weird stuff <laughs> or know about some real weird stuff I bet they do do you know one of the scariest things I think I've ever seen is that true detective is it true detective is that what it's called on, it was like on HBO, it was with uh, Matthew McConaughey and, well, it was the first season of it with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson when they like found those like structures out in the woods, and, like those little cold structures and stuff like that out in the woods, like that was, and that girl like was dead out there or whatever, hung up, that was like one of the scariest things I think I've ever seen. The second one was good. It was with Vince Vaughn. But it wasn't as good as the first one. And then the third one I thought was really, really good. It was more kind of like a revisiting of like Close Case from like years and years and years before. And I really liked that one. And, uh,. they've done. I don't feel like they're going to be doing another one. That one I watched when we were in Cancun right after P.P. had passed away. So that was 
like a year and eight months ago. I wonder when they're gonna put the new one out. Probably not for a while. Well, listen, I'm about to get off the interstate here. And, uh, I think I'm gonna call it a short vlog tonight. I've been doing like really long vlogs. Well, not really long, but I've been doing like an hour to an hour and a half. So I think I'm gonna make this one a short one tonight. So I'm gonna get off here now. If I win anything, maybe I'll come back on and let you guys, uh, let you guys know. <laughs> but if not, then this is good night. So, uh, which <laughs> this will probably be the end of it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not very often a winner winner chicken dinner. So anyway, um, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And um, I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Monday. And um, yeah, here we go for a magically amazing week ahead. It's gonna be the best week ever this week. And I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya!